In its most recent update, Adobe Premiere Pro starts using AI technology to create captions for your videos. Shit's starting to get weird. The internet, what's going on? Your boy Robert T. Garden back again with another T. Garden tutorial. Today we are talking about captioning in Adobe Premiere Pro in its most recent update. If you're new here, welcome. I post content on a weekly basis on filmmaking tips and the business of being a creative. So stick around, let me know if you like what's going on here. It's no secret that in today's climate, social media is dominating our attention span, especially when it comes to our phones. In a recent study, we found that we scroll almost 300 feet a day on Instagram and other social profiles, which is an astronomical amount of real estate to cover. It's also known that about 40% of individuals that are watching social media platforms are using it without the sound on. So if you're trying to get your message across, using captioning for your videos in some way, shape or form is an excellent way to ensure that all of the potential viewers have a way of understanding what's going on inside your content. With that in mind, Adobe had started to push the envelope in terms of what was capable inside their software, utilizing AI technology to create captions inside your video projects. Now, the software is in beta for a while, but the most recent update in Premiere 2022 allows us to do this for all users. And it's an incredible piece of software that I've been using for the past several months. I wanted to give you guys an insight in terms of what's going on and potentially some other alternatives that you could be using for this software as well. Let's hop on into Premiere and take a look at what we got going on. So here I've got a recent project that we did uh, that we need to add captioning to. It's going to live on social, specifically on Instagram, on Instagram TV. Uh, but we need to be able to put some captioning on here. And instead of actually using captioning software, like things like Rev or going in and manually typing things in on your own, whether that's in After Effects or in Premiere Pro using the text graphics, we can use AI to actually listen through and create captions, then go and make minor corrections, stylize it the way that we want to and hit export. So the way we're going to do this, is we go up to our workspace panel right here. If you don't have that, you can hit window, go down to workspaces and click on that. You'll see this little bar pop up here. Now, if you see one of the options I have here is captions, I'm going to click that. It'll bring us into the captions workspace. And one of the first things you'll see is transcribe this sequence. It's a very simple process. All you do is hit transcribe the sequence. It'll give you some options to peek through. Uh, it'll tell you exactly what we're trying to do, listening to the audio track. If you go in the essential sound panel and label things as dialogue, you can have that happen as well and only analyze the dialogue. This is an option if you have music going on in your track and you only want to listen to the dialogue, you can use that option here. And this one in particular, I have multiple tracks of dialogue going on, so I'm just going to leave this as is. Transcribe to in and out points only. So if you only want a transcription from a certain specific area, not the entire sequence, you can do that there too. Opt in and recognizing when different speakers are talking. This is actually a pretty cool feature where it'll start to sub out individuals that are speaking in different ways. So if you have multiple people doing dialogue, you can handle it that way. I don't typically use that because I like to stylize my dialogue in a specific way, but that's a great option as well. Uh, once you're done with setting those options, you just hit transcribe and Premiere Pro will go to work creating its own caption track. It's going to live on top of the sequence. It's going to create a yellow little thing that lives on top of all of the tracks that you already have, uh, which makes it easy to see and more accessible. So boom, we see that Premiere has figured out and transcribed our sequence using AI, which is still blowing my mind. And what I found is it does a really great job. There's a couple things like names and industry specific terminology that it has kind of an issue with. Uh, acronyms also, but that's okay. You can go in and actually listen to the sequence and kind of like, remember the uh, sing along bouncing ball thing on karaoke? All I wanna do. It's kind of like that with the way that your cursor is displayed. So we can go back to uh, the beginning of the sequence. What's going on world? Kevin Hart here with my guy, Rhino Boss Everline. Do so Rhino Boss Airline is not that person's name. Ronald Boss Everline is the name. So I can go into this and start creating and editing Ronald and then I can put his nickname in quotes because that's what you're supposed to do and then we can say Everline right uh, and doing what we love to do right so then we can keep listening through Ronald boss Everline doing what we love to do which is giving you guys 
basic information, man. Inf Which is fantastic. And so now this is just giving us exactly what they've created, what the software has analyzed. And you would go through and listen to this thing, creating a, a different caption sequence, editing what your captions look like, making sure that everything there from a punctuation standpoint is correct, from a capitalization standpoint is correct, your grammar, your spelling, all those things are proper. Once you get that stuff down, which shouldn't take that long, you go up to here, say create captions. It's going to ask you create from a sequence transcript. Exactly, that's what we wanna do. Settle default, all this stuff is the same. I just leave it there. Uh, and we double lines or single lines. The double is what I typically use. We hit create and we see that now on the top of our sequence right here, we have this new track that exists for us to edit and put together. Now, if we start to look here, We'll see, you can scroll through at different times and it gives you this kind of basic way of looking at things, but I don't want to do basic stuff. I want to stylize this in a way that kind of looks like something that I would put together on my own, not something that a program has done. So no problem, I can go into edit, right? And make sure that I have one of these things selected or I can actually select all of these things at the same time, highlight them all. I can go back down, I can change my font. I tend to like uh, Gilroy. Put that there, Gilroy, extra bold. So now I have the ability to change my fonts. I can change the style. I can change where they live. If I want to make sure that they go into a specific zone inside of my area, I can select those zones down here in alignment and transformation. I can move them around if I want to. I can scale them if I want to. Those are all great options. Now, appearances, and here's where things get a little bit more personalized in terms of what you want to do. Now, this one I don't really have to worry about because the white text is standing out in front of the background of the couch itself. However, if I didn't want to do that, I could select background and it would create a text box that's there. I can bring down the opacity because this one seems like it's a little heavy to me, right? So bring down my opacity because that's a little heavy to me. I can also round out my corners a little bit more so it's not just a square box. I can kind of stylize things a little bit more and make it seem great. Um, all that stuff is good. But typically what I don't like is to have a background and a shadow. So I take the shadow out, it looks a little too cartoony for me, but you've got those options if those are things that you want to have. So once we've made those changes and we're happy with what this looks like, we can go ahead and export our video with captions applied. This one's super simple, just the same way that you would typically do things. You go into your export windows, media, and most of the time this is defaulted to be correct, but I just wanna make sure that in my window here of export settings, I go to captions and say burn captions into video. Once you've got that thing done, you should be good to go. Now, every time that I've gone through an export, I've checked that setting, it's been there by default, but I always just wanna make sure because I don't wanna go through a useless export and waste my time doing things, uh, but just making sure that that burn caption into video is there, you should be good to go. Now you either queue that up into your Adobe Media Encoder, which I highly suggest you do, or you hit export within Premiere and your video should be done and ready to rock and roll. Post on your socials and do all of the things that you're supposed to do. Ladies and germs, that's another video in the can. If you like the video, like the damn video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because I know you got a ton of value from this thing. I post content, like I said before, on filmmaking tips and the business of being a creative. So if that's something that you're into, join the community. We'd love to see you around here more often. This is Robert Teagarden saying uh, TTFN on another video, guys. I'll see you next week. Peace.